that your final answer? Yeah, let's hear it for Betty. He is a rocket scientist, all right. I got out what? We put her right back in. <laughs> well, regardless, you're going to help us show how Newton's laws of propulsion are going to fight the force of gravity. Do we always have to be fighting with gravity? I mean, why can't we all just get along? <laughs> right, Betty? It's just so sad. The doctor is not a human queen. Sorry, that will wash out, Betty. Don't worry. Let's get a hair job, too. <laughs> But here I have a rocket that doesn't use any highly volatile materials at all. It just uses air power. But we still have to be very careful, right, Kelvin? Yeah, we need to watch out for the air rocket. Ooh, it's so scary. Oh, Betty, look out, you're coming in. Air. Oh, no, it's filling the room. There's no escaping it. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, oh, there we go. Why don't you come over here and help me out? Just uh, watch your head under the wire. Yeah. Good. And then I need you to stand on that side of the line so you don't burst in the flames. Alright, now I'm going to fill this rocket up with air, and the air molecules coming out of the end of the rocket are going to propel it faster than gravity can pull it yeah, down. Yeah, I'll believe that when I see it, Professor. Uh, <laughs> Calvin, you might want to get out of the way. This could be dangerous. Professor, I am not afraid of your air rocket. Bring it on! <laughs> okay. Doctor, and you're going to pull on it when I say blast off, but only when I say blast off. Kelvin, this is your last chance. I'm going to eat the rocket. Ah. <laughs> All right, counting down from five, four, three, two, one, blast off! Oh, so close, you almost got it. Let's hear it for Dr. Betty Von Braun, everyone! And there he is. All right, thumbs up. All right, okay, thanks, Betty. Bye -bye. You got a seat back in the audience there. Okay, there you go. Yeah. You proved it. The 